Hi, this is Patrick from Bimobject, and what I would like to show you here is the uh, internal gypsum wall solution made for Knauf Dano Yips. Uh, this is a solution based on the uh, wall accessory tool uh, in ARCHICAD, which you can download for free at ARCHICAD.com. Uh, so what you need is a hosting wall, and you use the wall accessories here in the design menu to actually create your gypsum wall. Uh, and when it's loaded up here you can see we have a user interface here helping you how to helping you to construct your wall so first off we have the different wall types and they're categorized into which kind of gypsum board you want to use and also which kind of uh, studs uh, the wall should consist of and uh, under this is the different wall types which is pretty much the Knopf Dano Yips catalog of internal gypsum walls and underneath when your major choices you can here see what the wall contains of and what kind of sound ratings and fire ratings uh, it has. You can also of course create your custom components or your custom wall with the different kinds of profiles, insulation thicknesses, uh, the amount of gypsum boards, what kind of insulation, uh, profile distancing and so on. But what Knopf then wants you to do is to contact them uh, if you if you run into any problems or if you want to have extensive information because they cannot um, guarantee the specification of it. And in the next page here you can see you have some uh, settings for joints so you can use the different joints and connections for the walls. Uh, there are several different variations but it's the most standard ones. Uh, and of course you can also override the angles if you have a diagonally placed wall. Uh, what's also important in this object is that you can make your gypsum uh, placement uh, optimization within ARCHICAD here. So you can choose in which way you want the gypsum boards oriented. Uh, if you have multiple layers, in this case we have double uh, double gypsum layers. Uh, you can activate this and give it different color options for the 2D, um, 2D representation. Uh, you have different uh, kinds of gypsum boards or sizes of boards. So you can choose the uh, ki different kinds of widths and heights everything to to help you optimize the placement and uh, minimize the amount of waste wi uh, you will actually generate. And you have some uh, regular ARCHICAD settings and here you have uh, the um, possibility to sh uh, show which wall and which type of connection you're using in 2D plan uh, and some 3D uh, geometry as well. So let's place this wall here uh, and I'm turning off the structural bearing layer here because we're hiding the host wall and going into 3D mode you can see we have the place uh, gypsum wall. So if I select this one you can see we have the stud framing system here um, all to the settings uh, which you have specified. You can choose to uh, visually activate the or hide the boards for example or you can uh, you can show and hide the profiles and insulation as well. So if we click the insulation here you can see we only have the stud framing uh, and this will help you to optimize the placement of the studs and so on. Uh, we can also have in 3D here a detailed mode to see the actual profiling. And what this uh, can do is that it, it can show you in real detail how the connections uh, are done in corners and uh, in connections to other walls for example. Uh, this is of course also available in the 2D view and here it is scale sensitive so if we set down the scale here to 1 to 20 you can see the actual detailing in the wall both the uh, layers of gypsum, the uh, thickness of insulation and so on, and also the studs and their placement. There is interactivity in the 2D view as well, so if you have a connection for example or you want to make any modifications to the gypsum boards uh, manually, you have these hotspots here at the end where you can actually adjust uh, the size or the length of the, sorry, the width of the gypsum boards to make the connection proper. Okay, so let's get a little bit deeper into the settings here. So first off the namings of the wall and uh, the the connections because you can represent these in 2D so you know which walls uh, you have actually you're actually working with. So let's activate everything here. Show wall ID, wall type and joints type. And then we go to the 2D we can see that we have the naming of the uh, the wall itself, the wall type and the connections at the ends as well. And this will help you organize your project. And one of the most interesting things is the gypsum uh, board optimization. So if I go in here and I activate the, the gypsum board layers here uh, on both both sides and click OK, you see we get a scheme in 2D plan of how the gypsum boards can or should be placed. And this is fully editable. Uh, and 
how we can do how we can help you with optimizing this is that you can interactively change the dimensions of the gypsum boards to see how the placement could be more efficient in this case maybe not so efficient because we get a lot of small bits uh, so we increase this uh, and you can see we get a pretty good planning uh, this of course you can uh, you can adjust and choose uh, how to work with uh, however you want so you see we also get warnings if we're making a combination that doesn't work uh, so just let's switch this one back here click OK and we have a placement scheme for it and this will absolutely help you to minimize the amount of waste uh, and as you can see you can also see it in 3D view so if you find these objects interesting and want to uh, dig deeper into them, please download them at beamobject.com. Thank you for watching.